she drops clues all the time. Women's language is very indirect. Men's language is focused towards facts. No emotional content, just facts. You never take me out to dinner, she would say. And he's like, what do you mean I never take you out to dinner? Three months ago, we went out for dinner. Clearly what she means is I'd like to go out to dinner with you now. How about you take me out? What he focuses in on during the conversation is the facts that what she's saying is wrong. Now, she might drop hints like, oh, my girlfriend was telling me about this awesome restaurant the other day. She might say, we haven't been out to a restaurant for ages. Or she might say, when was the last time we ate out? And he'll be like, hmm, maybe two or three months ago, I think. That's a clue. It's a hint. But her language is going to be indirect. Why won't she just come out and go, I'd really like to go out to dinner with you and spend some time with you because I'm really missing you. I'm missing that one-to-one -one contact and one-to-one -one time together. It's so important to me. Because to do that, she had to be in her feminine state and be vulnerable. See, most women now are in their masculine state all the time. If you haven't seen my videos on World War One, World War Two, that whole period, what happened culturally, it forced women to become in their masculine states most of the time, go and watch those. It's a great explanation. And you'll understand now in our culture why most women are in their masculine state. So when she's dropping clues, she's in her masculine state, not her feminine state. Because if she asked it that way, he would step up and immediately go, oh, I'd love to spend some time with you too. Let me book it. Instead, we get into dynamics of where he's a little boy. He needs to be told what to do. She's trying to force him. She's in a masculine state, telling him off, criticizing him. And maybe she's missing him. So what she'll end up doing is criticizing him for other things that he's not doing in the house, whereas what she really wants is to spend time with him. And she's angry now and resentful that he hasn't stepped up and realized and understood her enough to know that she wants to spend that time. Because to a woman, if you really love me, you would know these things about me and I wouldn't even have to ask you to take me out to dinner. You would do it anyway. But now most men are in their feminine states. And so they don't take the lead. They don't step up. And where they get to is they fail in the relationship of making her feel happy. And so now they fall into resentment that they can't make her happy and they quit. And so we've got this dynamic of a lot of people living in a very unhappy relationship where neither of their needs are being met or satisfied. And when we're in that, we fall into resentment. We don't fall out of love. Millions of people love each other but are in resentful relationships. If you want to break out of that, you need to understand each other. And for a man to understand that a woman is very indirect in language is really critically important because men listen for directness. They listen to, this is what she means. So a million times a woman can go, I want a divorce. I've had enough. I'm done. And what she really means is, I want you to step up. I want you to fight for me. And he's like, she told me she wanted a divorce, so I agree because I wanted her to be happy again, not miserable with me. These are the crazy things that we do in relationships, and a lot of relationships have gone to divorce as a solution to a communication problem. You can change this. I don't care what state your relationship is in right now. It can be turned around, and how do we know that? We've assisted thousands and thousands of couples to go from resentment back to love again in just three days. It's totally possible. All you have to do is be prepared to make that initial call, reach out, text, contact us. We can set up a discovery call either with you or with you and your partner and show you exactly how this can all be turned around. Look, your relation might be good at the moment, but good's not good enough. You want it to be great. You want it to be deep. You want it to be unbreakable. 
That's the relationship you want.